Hey guys, it's Kelsey again back with Layout 7 with How to Kill a Kit with Style. And today I am just going to be working on a multi-photo layout. So we're doing three photos here. They were 4x6s. I ended up trimming them down to 4x4, which you'll see here. Um, but this is the first night of our camping trip and we got the fire going, or I should say Marcus got the fire going and we just made uh, some ramen noodles in a cup because we weren't quite sure uh, what we would have to work with as far as cooking wise. We weren't sure if we'd have a fire pit, if we'd have to make everything from scratch. They actually give you a pretty good little setup uh, with a little grill and everything. Um, but we weren't sure what we'd have at first, so we knew we had what we needed to boil water, so that's pretty much the type of meals that we brought. <laughs> but this is just documenting that, our first night out camping and our dinner, the fire. So that's why I really wanted to go with this big, like, starry sky, navy, dark background, because this is leading into the first night. I knew I wanted these photos all lined up together. I just matted them on a really thin white mat. And I just trimmed them down enough so I'd have a little bit of that blue showing on either side. I don't want the photos to stretch um, edge to edge. And then I really liked how it looked when we did that rub on on that other paper straight on the background. And with this background being so dark, I really, really wanted to get some of these white rub ons directly on the background. So that's what you saw there. I picked out two uh, square ones and then I did uh, split up that one sticker to layer in each area. I knew right away that I pretty much wanted to have a diagonal flow. I wanted these photos going across the page and then everything kind of flowing out in a diagonal. So that's where I'm going. I'm basically just mirroring, mirroring whatever I do on one side on the opposite side of the photos going in the other direction. So you see I got that sticker down and then both of those rub -ons. I really, really like that. I'm making sure I got the paper that's going to be behind all of those photos. And uh, then I'll get that stuck down and go from there. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still a little funny. <laughs> Let me get that stuck down. This page ends up being um, pretty simple. I knew I wanted this page to mimic the feel of the moment that I'm documenting and I really wanted it to have that open sky feel. So that's why I did make an intentional decision to leave a lot of this night sky showing. I do cover it up more than this, but at the end it still is pretty open. And I really like that. I feel like that really speaks to the moment that I'm trying to capture. Um, so I'm just trying to build up a little more on the diagonal. I'm bringing in some moons, some stars, even that little favorites tab is like moon pattern. <laughs> I don't know if you have a moon pattern, but it's the same pattern that's on the moon die cuts. Um, so I thought it was appropriate to pull that in. I definitely have a lot of stars in this collection. They give you a lot of moons, a lot of stars. So I was happy to incorporate them in this way, um, very literally. I loved this embossed puffy sticker that says beneath the stars. I thought that was so perfect. But with it being the exact same pattern as the background paper, um, it sits on my page for a while, but I decide not to use it. So you'll see that get taken off. It does throw off the balance a little bit as much as I wanted to use it. Having that down there just really changed the dynamic of the flow. So that ends up being moved. But I do go with a branding strip and I do another zigzag um, border punch, which I love. I am loving this punch this month. <laughs> so I just punched a zigzag. I'm going to incorporate that top and bottom going in opposite directions of the photos. Um, and I really like the, the dimension that adds. It's a lot of interest. You really, this page has like, this is pretty much the only paper layer that's on this page, but that little bit adds so much interest. Um, so I really try and focus more on the embellishment for this one just because they give you such perfect embellishments in this collection to do a nighttime outdoorsy type page. So see me building that up. I'm committing, I'm sticking everything down. I'm pretty happy with this diagonal flow that I have here. <clears throat> I really enjoy how many different, sorry, there's a really big truck that just drove by. Um, <laughs> They give you a lot of different types of stars too, which I really appreciate. They give you um, acetate stars, vellum, paper, chipboard, puffy stickers. So I try and pull in a few different textures as well. So you'll see I incorporated some of the puffy stars as well as the flat stickers that come in here and some of the flat die cuts. I knew I wanted something in that upper right hand corner. I really liked this wolf. I've been staring at it on the flat sticker sheet for a while now and I really thought that it would really pop with this dark background. So I am going to layer up um, the matte border piece that comes in the 6x6 cut apart sheet as well as I'm punching again the same zigzag out of that same pattern but in the smaller size. 
Um, so I'm incorporating a few branding strips there as my layers. <clears throat> I just need to make sure that wolf covers up the part of the branding strip that has that hole punched out of it, which I knew it would with the way it's offset, so it doesn't end up being an issue, but it's just something I'm keeping in mind. Um, I know my journaling is going to go up there as well. The sticker underneath the photos does have a date, location, and detail spot, so I'm just filling that in the date and I'm just saying the location we were camping and the details that was dinner I wanted to keep it pretty simple because I knew I was going to have journaling elsewhere um, I just tried to use a Stampin Up marker that I thought matched the colors really well it's actually kind of dying so it, it came out really faintly so you'll see me go back with another pen in a similar color and go back over that but I'm just drawing in my lines with some white gel pen white pops so well on this dark background I really really like how it looks so I'm drawing in my lines um, I'm just going to do my journaling up there really quick. It's just saying how camping was Marcus's birthday gift this year, um, but it was an amazing treat for both of us because like I said on a previous page, this was my first time camping, so I was just as excited or more so than he was. Uh, so it was a lot of fun, but even he hadn't done this type of camping before. He'd done the camping where you're in the parking lot with a big camper, you know, which he had a blast doing that with his family, but this was a whole different experience for him. So I was really happy we kind of got to experience that together. Uh, I also have these gray enamel stars and dots. I think they're from Seven Paper, I'm not completely sure. Um, but I thought adding that texture would bring in another really cool element since I'm using all these different textured stars. And being gray, it, it was subtle enough, but it added enough detail with it being a different texture that I really thought worked well. Um, and then with that white gel pen popping so well on the journaling, I also wanted to incorporate it by just doodling lines around the outside, especially because this page is so open. I feel like that really helps bring the page together and contain everything. Um, so I think that's my finishing touch though. Again, this one turned out really clean, pretty simple, but I really like the end result and it really reminds me of the moment, which I feel is so important when you're doing scrapbook pages. So here are the close-ups. You see Marcus getting our fire going, the fire and our awesome dinner there, instant ramen noodles. <laughs> so there we go. Those rub-ons look so good. I love them. I love them so much. And <laughs> there's my journaling. Thanks guys for watching. As always, check out everyone else who's playing along this month. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.